Hi, my name is Dr. Kelly Trevino. I am a clinical psychologist at Weill Cornell Medical College and New York Presbyterian Hospital. And I'm happy to bring to you the next installment of the Review of Emerging Data for Lymphoma Patients, or the Red Lamp Program, which is sponsored by the Lymphoma Clinic here at Weill Cornell Medical College, New York Presbyterian Hospital. So today I'm going to be talking to you about a research study that was published in the journal Lancet Oncology in 2014. The title of this article is Rituximab versus a Watch and Wait Approach in Patients with Advanced Stage Asymptomatic Non-Bulky Follicular Lymphoma, an Open Label Randomized Phase 3 Trial. And this was a study that was conducted out of London. So in this project, 379 patients with, with follicular lymphoma participated. 187 of those patients were randomized to a watch and wait treatment condition. This means that they were followed by their oncology team until treatment was needed. 192 patients were randomized into a maintenance rituximab group. These patients received a rituximab induction plus 12 rituximab infusions, one every two months for two years. There were many measures and outcomes in this study, but we are going to focus on three today, depression, anxiety, and quality of life. Patients completed measures of anxiety, depression, and quality of life at baseline, which is before treatment started, and seven months later. What the researchers found was that at baseline, 9% of the total group had elevated depression, 11% in the watch and wait group, and 8% in the maintenance rituximab group. For anxiety, 29% of the whole sample had elevated anxiety levels, 29% in the watch and wait group, and 29% in the maintenance rituximab group. At the seven month follow-up, 22% of the entire sample had elevated anxiety, 23% of the watch and wait group, and 21% in the maintenance rituximab group. For depression at the seven month follow-up, 10% of the total sample had elevated depression levels, 9% in the watch and wait group, and 10% in the maintenance rituximab group. Anxiety and depression were pretty stable for both groups from baseline to the seven month follow-up. For quality of life, there were differences between the two groups. So overall, patients in the maintenance rituximab group had higher or better quality of life than patients in the watch and wait group. In addition, on some of the measures of quality of life, quality of life got better for patients in the maintenance rituximab group, but got worse for patients in the watch and wait group. In addition, patients in the maintenance rituximab group worried less about their treatment than patients in the watch and wait group. So overall, what we see is that about 20% of patients with follicular lymphoma in this study had elevated anxiety levels. About 10% had elevated depression levels. And for quality of life, patients in the maintenance rituximab group had better quality of life than patients in the watch and wait group. So what do these results mean for patients with follicular lymphoma? Well, first, if patients are experiencing anxiety, depression, or poor quality of life, they're not alone. Many patients with follicular lymphoma have these experiences. If a patient is experiencing these types of distress, they should talk to their, their medical team about getting treatment to help them feel better. In addition, patients are encouraged to talk to their medical team before they choose a treatment option and ask what the impact of each treatment may be on their levels of distress and quality of life. This information can help patients make an informed choice about which treatment they select and it can also help them get the resources they need should they feel distressed after treatment starts.